What's up guys, I just thought I'd make a quick little video on the announcement of Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. This game just got announced a few days ago, and well, in internet years, that means that this is like last year's news already, but honestly, I just wanted an excuse to show off my character. I've been kind of neglecting the game over the last couple months with uh, Final Fantasy XVI and all that other stuff, so anyway, this is the upcoming expansion for the long-running online RPG, and it's currently scheduled for a summer 2024 release. Guys, I've got a long way to go in this game yet, so I don't know exactly what the heck is supposed to be going on here. I've been trying to avoid spoilers for the most part, so yeah, this trailer looks really cool though, uh, kind of lighthearted, and I'm guessing that makes sense for where the story is at. I do know that the last expansion brought some closure to some stuff, probably. Don't worry guys, I'll get through the game eventually, I promise. Anyway, there's definitely a pirate theme going on here, and I'm guessing they are hinting at a new pirate job, or at least one of the new jobs being introduced in this expansion. And yeah, the trailer looks really cool. Everything looks nice, uh, showing off the characters, but I don't know what exactly is going on with them. I'll find out soon. <laughs> to be honest, this game is so rich in content that I kind of doubt I'll be entirely caught up by summer. But anyway, there's another piece of Final Fantasy XIV news that I wanted to quick touch up on as well. And honestly, I was pretty surprised to hear about this one. And that's that the game is also going to be finding its way to Xbox after almost a decade of remaining exclusive to PC and PlayStation. I think that's super exciting. And for Xbox owners who might be wondering if the game plays well on consoles, well, my first experience with the game was actually playing it on PS4. And as long as you've got like a USB keyboard or something that you can use for chat, stuff like that, the game plays extremely well with the controller. In fact, over the years, I've restarted the game with a new character on my PC, but I still find myself preferring to use a controller with the game just because it plays so well. But yeah, when Square announced that Dawn Trail would be coming to Xbox, this also came with announcement that the company would be committed to releasing even more games on the Xbox in the future. Although a somewhat vague statement, that kind of caught me off guard, as Square Enix literally just released Final Fantasy XVI as PlayStation exclusive, and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is also set to be exclusive to the PS5. So while I think most people were already assuming these games would be finding their way to PC after some time, perhaps these games could even find their way onto the Xbox too after all. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how they deliver on that. But it's been a while since uh, Square Enix and, and Xbox have been working together at least. Uh, you know, Final Fantasy XV released and launched on Xbox, so it's good to see the companies working together again. And I, you know, I did hear some rumors that like uh, Square Enix was going to be bought out by Sony or something like a few months ago. So it's good to see that these companies are working together again, and uh, it just makes it easier for more people to play these games. It also kind of points out how these rumors are almost always baseless. But whatever. Anyway, there's also one last point I wanted to quick make on this video, and that's certainly not groundbreaking either, but uh, yeah, if you're like a Final Fantasy fan, maybe you just played 16 or whatever, and you've been sleeping on 14 because it's an online game, well, you seriously might want to consider giving the free trial a shot. The game actually has a straightforward narrative and mostly plays like a single player game. So if you're worried about playing 14 because of the MMO stuff, don't worry, you can basically play through it alone and it offers a crazy amount of content for absolutely free. Uh, actually, after logging into the game after not playing it for a few months, I think I'll probably be jumping back into it once I finish up 16. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Are you guys uh, Xbox owners who've been wondering when Square Enix was going to show some love your way? Uh, are you hyped for the next Final Fantasy XIV expansion and mad at me for being so far behind? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, see you guys.